during that breaking news throughout the morning. A 12 year old autistic girl who went missing last night has been found. Our Brent Weisberg is joining us live from Beaverton. He's been following this story all morning long and talking with the family themselves. He joins us now live with the latest. Good morning, Brent. Chad, good morning to you. Haley Wilson is now with her family. She was found out in Gresham around uh, 345 this morning. The reunion happened very quietly. It was a private reunion uh, between Beaverton police, her family, and the young girl herself. It happened around uh, 430. She went missing last night around 830. Her stepfather, Kent Wilson, tells me that they are staying here at the extended stay in Beaverton uh, because there is some sort of ongoing litigation between the family and the state of Oregon. He didn't want to get into too many details about it, but he says that Haley is not allowed to stay at home, so that's why they are staying here at this hotel in Beaverton. She got upset last night wanting to go home, her family says, and so she uh, ran out the door and that's when she went missing. Uh, dozens of search and rescuers were out here last night looking for her. Beaverton police say they even brought in an airplane with heat sensors on there to try to see if she was hiding in behind anyone's yard or in the brush. Uh, her family was just so relieved this morning when they got the call that Haley was found. It's hard to explain. It's, it's like having a, the weight of the world lifted off you knowing that she was safe, she wasn't out in this cold freezing to death, that somebody weird hadn't gotten a hold of her. Ogresham police say Haley was found at the Central Transit Center at Northeast 8th and Kelly in Gresham. Her father, stepfather says he has no idea how she was able to use the MAC system so easily. Because she is autistic, police in Gresham were afraid that she may run away because she may be scared of police. So they took their time. They slowly talked with her. They said that um, she was cold, but otherwise seemed to be in good health. Now she is back with the family. They are at their home right now. Uh, she is getting some rest and we understand understand that again she is doing just fine this morning her family so relieved to all the search and rescuers who were out here last night reporting live I'm Brent Weisberg coin six news certainly good news thank you very much Brent